There are 17 different events in a standard high school track and field meet. Each are important, yet as George Orwell might put it, some are more important than others. The pure speed of the sprints often takes center stage, and our area has been blessed with some fantastic sprinters over the last 10 years, including a Bluffton Pirate who won multiple state titles, and along the way earned herself the 17th spot in 44's Top 44. Bonnie Stratton, Bluffton, class of 2009, track and field. Three-time state champion, winning the 200 as a sophomore and winning the 100 and 200 as a junior. 11 times state qualifier, eight times all Ohio. Holds the school records in the 100, 200, 4x100 relay and 4x200 relay. Three times the Northwest Conference Track Athlete of the Year. Also played soccer and volleyball. She had that explosive closing speed, um, and I used to be, a, I used to just sit there and shake my head because you'd always see her, she'd be in contention in 200, but it seemed like once she made that last turn, she had that extra gear, and you talk about the, the extra gear people have, you know, when she was healthy, she probably had the best closing speed I saw in the 200 meters for a girl, and, um, and I remember senior year, I think she had some injuries, but boy, her sophomore and junior year, some of these uh, 102 meter, 100 dashes she ran, it was just incredible what she ran. Um, yeah, she was probably one of the, the best sprinters I've seen around the area as far as, you know, 100, 200 meters. Bonnie Stratton, her best attribute was getting out of the blocks. Her, she was unbelievable out of the blocks. Uh, you know, that gun would go off, she was gone in a, in a flash. She had great turnover, as you said, and she could fly like the wind. Uh, running in circles, running in a straight pattern was definitely her best attribute. She, again, I think I remember Bonnie Stratton just be one of those, like you said, kind of energizer battery where she just, she would never quit. I mean, she was very relentless, very fast, good finisher on both the 100 and 200. Um, yeah, and she was part of some good relays there at Bluffton, too, when she ran. Bonnie was a quiet leader, very fun, but she wasn't a very vocal, I mean, that just wasn't her. Uh, but she was, she was very intense, very focused, and, you know, she's the last girls state champion that Bluffton has had, and that last championship came in 2008. I really think she was the springboard for, for girls like Lydia Guigeni, uh, girls like Kendra Bassett, who went on to, to run at Ashland, uh, Hannah Chapeldick, who went on to Eastern Mennonite. I think Bonnie was a springboard for that, that got Bluffton going after a, about a six or seven year absence in the girls track program to get things moving forward again. Stratton went on to run collegiately at the University of North Florida in Jacksonville. Bonnie Stratton, number 17 on 44's Top 44 Female Athletes. Sam mentioned Hannah Chapel Dick, the mid-distance runner from Bluffton. Well, she finished just outside of 44's Top 44, checking at number 47 on our voters' list of the top high school athletes of the sports report decade. Join us next Thursday as 44's Top 44 continues with number 16, a volleyball and basketball star from Minster. And of course, each Thursday from now until June, we'll continue the countdown of 44's Top 44 female athletes on the sports report.